my bad, apparently Maryland. I thought that was further east. I thought we were gonna go straight into uh, Virginia, whatever. That's a cool trailer. Crossing the Potomac. Not quite as dramatically as Washington. West Virginia. Welcome to Virginia. Well, folks, we are headed down 81 to take exit 81 onto 77 South towards Charlotte. Yeah, so hopefully we get through Baton Rouge tonight. Started out like at 5 o'clock this morning. Cat uh, has not exactly let me get a whole lot of sleep. But it is what it is. Let's not roll the freaking trailer on this. It was interesting being up early enough that I was an hour down the road before dawn. So we're in North Carolina. And about... I don't know, 55 miles from Charlotte. So apparently I have a guy in a Kia sedan or mini SUV, I can't tell, who is tailgating me to draft and I assume get better gas mileage, but I'm only going like 58 at the most. So I'm not sure what the point is since this is a 70 mile an hour road. But hey, maybe he's trying to see how good a gas mileage he can actually get out of that thing. Uh, but he has been right up my butt for like 15 miles. Every time I look back, you know, on a corner or something, he's right there. So I gotta say, South Carolina's roads, not nearly as pretty as uh, Virginia. So I just passed a sign for sugar tit moonshine. Well, I am passing North American Rescue, the folks that make the cat tourniquets. I just passed their facility. Didn't even know they were right there. Whew. Well, I mean, that was interesting. I guess at the speed I'm going, that's not exactly uh, that risky. If you look at the videos, people love to like shake. Yeah, you can see that when the tips hit raindrops, you down. That's all just that's all drag. Just beating those raindrops. Yeah, sir, had to have some sort of. How much did you calculate that? rush hour traffic um, and then I managed to not use the bathroom before I got into traffic and basically got screwed had to pull off into some really shitty neighborhood and find a place to go Shit, I know everything's bigger in Texas, but that Bucky's the gas station was massive. There was there was like 20 rows of pumps. Not 20 pumps, 20 rows of pumps. Holy cow. Like it was the, the place was like a quarter mile long. So 
so I got a, a Texas joke for you. Most places when your GPS says, you know, go straight for 120 miles, it doesn't literally mean go straight. Luckily I have gas. Looks like that lane's moving just a hair faster, which makes me wonder if they're having us merge. Broken down truck. I mean, overall, people have been very, very considerate of the fact that I am slow as shit, can't accelerate, can't stop. Like people have let me in, people have not honked at me, nobody's cut me off. Uh, and that's been the whole drive. I've had some idiots, but it wasn't malicious other than that lady at the gas station. Uh, for example, the guy behind me told me to trailer, slowed down to let me in, rather than making me stay in the left-hand lane for this, uh, where I'd be blocking faster cars. windshield just got broken. Big old crack on the passenger side. Something came flying out of the sky and landed on it. Like two inches across star already. Son of a bitch. Made it his whole trip with no damage. This is the guy coming by on the left. That's the guy who let me in. So he's towing to that Camaro and he still went out of his way to make it easy for me. I appreciate it.